Hello everybody, today we are going to study the bipolar junction transistor. The bipolar came from the charge carriers of this transistor, which are electrons and holes. The junction, we have two PN junctions. And the transistor is a transfer plus resistor. It will be discussed later in our lecture. For majority electrons, the first type is NPN. has three terminals for majority holes the type is PMP So the three terminals are emitter, base, and collector. The layer width as we can see the collector has the biggest layer, then the emitter, and finally the base. For the doping density, emitter is greater than collector, which is greater than base. If we take the real life model of a transistor, which looks like that, and we take a cross section of this transistor, we cut this transistor into half, these layers will be distributed as follows. N, P, N. This is the collector. This pin is the base. And this one is heavily doped by electrons, the emitter. The MPN type could be represented by two diodes. connected in this way while the PMP type will be connected in the opposite way the symbols of these transistors we should look at the arrow if the arrow is on this side then the emitter is always beside the arrow so the arrow is pointing here toward the base so the arrow always points toward the negative layer. So if the base is the negative, then the collector is positive and the emitter is positive. So this type is a PMP type. Here the arrow with the emitter side, the arrow is pointing toward the emitter. So the negative is here. So the positive is on the base and the negative is here. This transistor will be working as a water faucet. So 
we can see here that the control knob will decide whether the water can flow from this point to this point so the control knob is represented by the base of the transistor this point is the collector and this one is the emitter so in order for the current to flow from collector to emitter the base should be supplied by current IB so when a current IB is applied on the base the current will flow from C to E, so from collector to emitter. So the equation will be beta equals IC over IB. So beta is the current gain of the transistor, and IC is the current flowing from the collector to the emitter, and IB is the control base current. So this transistor is called a current controlled transistor. An important condition needed in order to make sure that the transistor is working in the on mode. For example, for an MPN transistor, I will transform this transistor into a diode with a variable resistance RCE so we can see here that in order for the transistor to act in the on mode a voltage VBE should be greater or equal to VD on. So we know from before that the diode needs approximately 0 0.7 volts in order to act in the forward bias region. So in order for the transistor to work and to operate in the on mode, a 0 0.7 volt should be applied between the base and the emitter side from the equation above we can see that ic equals beta ib where beta is a constant value for example 100 so as ib increases ic will increase ic is the current flowing from the collector to the emitter so when ic increases RCE will decreases since RCE is a variable resistor and here is the current IB there are three regions of operation for the BJT the first region is called the cutoff region The second region is called active region. The third region is called saturation region. This circuit here is to study the three regions for the BJT. The following circuit here represents a voltage source on the input, a voltage source on the collector side, we have two ammeters in order to measure the current of the base and of the collector, and two voltmeters to measure the voltage between base and emitter and between collector and emitter. As we see, the voltage across the base and the emitter is less than the voltage needed in order to turn the transistor on. So VBE 
is less than VBE on. So the transistor will stay off. IB will not flow through the base terminal. So IB equals to zero. Referring to the previous equation, IC equals to beta IB, or we can read the collector current from the circuit. The ammeter reads zero amp for the collector side. So IC equals to zero. Voltage across resistor R1 is IC multiplied by R1, which is also equals to zero. So applying a KVL between the source and VCE, VCE equals three volt. So VCE is maximum and IC is minimum. So the BJT here is operating in the cutoff region. The second region is called the active region. Where VBE is greater or equal than VBE on needed to turn on the transistor. For an increase in the input, we see that IB flowing through the base terminal equals 5 microamps, and IC is 1 milliamps. So we did use here that. The output current is amplified using the previous equation IC equals beta IB, so beta equals IC over IB equals 200. A huge current amplification occurred at the output, IC increased, reaching 1 milliamps for an input of 5 microamps. For the another value, when IB reaches 10 microamps, IC reaches approximately 2 milliamps. Applying the equation, beta also equals 200. So as we increase IB, the collector current IC will also increase by a factor of beta. Here we can check the voltage between collector and emitter for an input of IB equals to 5 microamps the voltage between collector and emitter drops reaching 2 volts as IB increases VCE decreases this region is called the active region where the amplification occurs between input and output this region is called the saturation region in this region the transistor is also on, but IC will no more increase with the increase of the base current. So we can check here the circuit for a current of 15 microamps IB, IC equals 2.74. While if we double the base current reaching 30 microamps, IC will stay at 2.74 saturation region IC equals IC saturation and also if we check VCE VCE equals VCE saturation so VCE drops reaching 0 0.26 volt this is V CE saturation so here IC is maximum while VCE is minimum this graph shows collector current IC versus VCE for several values of base current IB for example here we can see for a value of 5 micro amps of IB current we see that the current IC equals 1 milliamps and for a current of 10 microamps we can see also that IC equals 
2 milliamps. The first region shows the cutoff region where the transistor is off. The second region is the active region where the output is amplified by a factor of current gain beta. The third region is the saturation region where IC is maximum. IC equals IC saturation and VCE is minimum where VCE equals VCE saturation. Cut off and saturation regions forms BJT in switching mode while active region forms BJT as amplifier. Cutoff and saturation are used in digital electronics for switching purpose, while amplification is used in analog applications. And here is an example for switching mode.